Alright, here we are in Gary's kitchen. There's Gary in their nicely remodeled kitchen. And Karen. And what's her name? Debbie. <laughs> and the star of our show, Pauline. Hello. Say hello. hello okay, good. If people ask mom questions now. Why don't you tell us some more about the Indians? <laughs> All of a sudden, when we ate it, they, they told you they stole everything. What did they steal? Like, besides... Chickens. Chickens? Yeah. Wow. Food. 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 Did they, did they have teepees? Do you remember? What did they sleep in? They have teepees? Tents, I think. Some tents? tents? They had horses? They had horses, you remember that? I don't remember the horses. How about dogs? Okay. Didn't really see where they lived. Just, the, just when they came in by. The woods, right? In the woods. In the woods. In the woods. So they had papooses and squaws and braves and chiefs and all that, or they just kind of a motley crew. <laughs> Do you remember how many? Roughly, there were fifteen, twenty. Yeah, quite a few. Quite a few. Ooh, that's pretty, pretty weird. And you would think they would not steal, but they did. Yeah. Dad finally had to tell him to go. Oh, really? Is he on your land? There's an old pasture. In your pasture? Went down the lane and into the woods. Mm -hmm. Did they did they steal corn? Did your dad grow corn? Well, that time of year, I don't think that. Oh. So mainly it was... Now, did, did his father marry an Indian? Do you remember that? Elmer's dad. Um, someone tried to say that, but I don't think so. I saw a picture of her. She looked like a little Eskimo. Oh. You're real small. Okay, that's all right. Do you remember if they had any little bitty kids? The, the Indians, they have little children, tiny children? I don't remember the kids so much as I do. The adults? When you yeah. just don't come to your house, and, oh my, they just come in. They, they just walk making, right in? Making something, they want it, they took it. Okay. Yeah, that was their culture. They were but mostly there. food, did they also steal knives and utensils and... No, it was food. It was food. They were hungry. Oh, interesting. Okay, there's chapter one. Here we are in the van, ready to go to Monticello. There's mother strapped in, and some strange woman back there with a map in front of her face. And Karen. And, and Debbie's hiding below you. De oh, Debbie, what are you doing? Oh, well, I got a blanket in once you get oh, that's our, that's our, our worker, the only Hi. worker in the. Our worker. The <laughs> yeah. Our worker B. Yeah. Okay, well this is the beginning of the trip. I take my arm back, Grandma. Hi. I've uh, yeah. <laughs> videoed like chamber orchestras and stuff at Richard College from, well, I was as far away as from here to the middle of that road out there. We picked up everything, just I don't know how to do it. And it's got, like, when you look at that, it's only like, Pick up all my, it's probably a forty dollar thing that was on sale for like two twenty or something at like, like Target. And you know, you just hook it up to your computer and transfer the videos over and you can edit them if you want. So it's pretty Karen, Uncle Steve, say hi. Hello. It's us. You're next. Can't wait. It's your turn now. Can't wait. Give me one. There you go. Oh, here comes Gary. All right. Uh, to ruin the picture. Cares. Okay, hold on, everybody squeeze together. Come here. Oh, me too? Okay. Yeah, you too. Okay. Uh, cheese or whatever it is. Bye. Um, so, make up. Yay! So, anyways, I don't know, but it was a working plantation and he did sell some of his stuff, but it was mostly, the slaves really worked for the family. Right. So, uh -huh. and the house. You know, they had some, there were house um, servants. They called them servants, but they were essentially slaves. They didn't, the only one that lived in the house was his personal butler. And they'll show you that in the house. And he lived down underneath, kind of underneath Jefferson's bedroom. 
Uh-huh. And Jefferson had a, a little thing, like a little bell that he would, it would ring down in the basement, uh. and he would have to come up. And he would ring it. <laughs> 20 years old, and wow. I always look at it with I'm 12 years old all over again. It's just a great climbing tree. Right there. So 120 years old, it's a marvelous looking tree. And most of you know that the house is over 200 years old. Right? So that, that gives a strong visual perspective of the timeline of history on this property. Because as grand as that tree is, it's tall and stout as he is. Okay, this is Monticello. I can't see the screen very well, so I don't know if I'm getting a good shot or not. It's too sunny out here, reflecting. But let me walk up a little bit. And this is just where we came from, where they were describing the trees. The big trees that weren't, actually weren't here when Jefferson was alive. They've grown since then. Yeah, this is coming out of Monticello to the, what would you call this walkway, outer deck. This leading, you know where this leads to? Uh, I mean that house over there. Yeah. We'll, we'll follow Mom, she's buzzing along here with Debbie. And turn the corner so we can get a picture of the, uh, the little house that we don't know what it's used for. But And here's the picture of the landscape surrounding and the mountains in the background. Y'all ready? Grandma, what are you doing? Walking through the woodlands because it's called a very high wildflower, which means that it likes to hide under canopy. So you would miss it unless you knew it was there. 